Beer Circus is a game to keep your eye on as long as you can take the seriousness out of your gameplay once in a while. There are plenty of games currently on the market that drive and encourage the super competitive player. Beer Circus is not that type of game. This game goes back to the roots of gaming, back to a time when gaming was meant to be fun, entertaining, and at times even relaxing, instead of the currently seen adrenaline pumping experience that leaves you sweating and angry upon missing a shot. In truth, it is the definition of a game forging its own path in a world currently dominated by blockbuster style games that seem to think cutting edge graphics, in depth storylines, and multi million dollar budgets are the only way to go. The best part is, I've had more fun playing this game than any other that has come out since 2013. Beerzerkers is still sitting in its alpha with a beta release hopefully planned towards the end of the year and maybe a public release around that. Hey guys, Red Gamer here, bringing you a special indie exclusive review. Now, back in December, we had the chance to interview the amazing Vince Fennel from Shieldbreak Studios, learning quite a bit about their studio, their history, and their current project, Beerzerkers, which recently entered their alpha build about a month ago. Now, we were fortunate enough to score some alpha keys and check out the game, playing against many of the developers and random friends of the team, and enjoying every minute of it. Now, as a promoter of great games that we hope you to keep your eye out for, we want to present you with an exclusive alpha review for Beerzerkers, the colorful brawler. Now, if you've never seen it before, Beerzerkers is an online multiplayer brawler wherein you control a character from the third person perspective and attempt to kill the opponent. Now, the color scheme is close to what one would expect from something like Team Fortress 2, with a similar feeling of humor evident from the announcer to the individual dialogue of the distinct classes. Even death is entertaining in this game, with the clever statements made to reference numerous pieces of pop culture ranging from movies and video games, you catch yourself laughing at almost every point of the game. Now, don't let the colorful design and humorous characters dissuade you. Beerzerkers has the concrete and solid gameplay one would hope for for a decent competitive game. Each of the four available classes have a truly distinct style, giving unique ways to play and allowing players to find a class that fits them well. However, none of the classes feel lackluster or even really overpowered. Even in the early learning stages, in which the ranged characters tend to feel a bit stronger than the rest, after a bit of practice and patience, this doesn't becomes not the case, as any skilled player can be a devastating master with any class. Currently, there are four available classes for play, with more to be added. As this is an elf build, these features or stats are subject to change. Each class comes with two standard attacks, named a quick and slow attack a secondary move, which is currently a shield or dodge, and three special abilities. First up is the well-rounded raider, a melee class that utilizes a sword and shield for its attacks. Its two standard attacks are a horizontal slash for the quick and an overhead slice for the slow, with its secondary being a standard shield. For its special abilities, the raider has a shield throw which stuns an enemy upon contact, a charge attack that sends the raider flying across the stage, and a sword spin AoE that can propel the user into the air if jumped. Now his stats are the closest to average, having decent damage, mid-range, and mid-level health. He's a standard starting pick for anyone trying out the game, as well as a skillful utility-based character in the hands of the master. Matching wits in the melee department is the Drunkard, a large, hammer-wielding beast of a man who prides himself on high damage and slower attacks. His two standard attacks are a horizontal attack for the quick, and an underhanded attack for the slow, propelling the user into the air and doing considerably more damage with his secondary being a shield similar to the raider. For his special abilities, the drunkard can propel himself into the air and land a belly flop attack doing AoE damage, slam his hammer onto the ground hard, sending a flurry forward that stuns those it comes into contact with, knocking to the ground, and a utility based ability that puts a keg on the ground and drinks from it, healing himself and his nearby allies. His stats give him the largest health in the game and some of the highest damage, but his slow movement and slow attack speed make him easy to dodge and counter attack when played effectively. The two remaining classes are ranged, the first up being the Dark and Mysterious Scoundrel class. His standard attack is throwing knives in bursts of 3 in sequence, with his slow attack being a melee slash with relatively high damage. For his special abilities, the Scoundrel can create a clone of himself and disappear, where enemy attacks of his clone cause him to go blind temporarily, a trigger attack that either throws a burst of knives all at once, or a bomb that detonates after a short delay, which of course is useful for removing the shield. 
In addition, the Scoundrel contains a charge attack that dashes forward quickly, doing massive damage if contact is made, but can also be used as a dodge or a way to cross the arena. Replacing the shield of the melee class is a dodge ability. When properly timed, attacks can be quickly avoided, but if cornered, chances are slim of him escaping without a bit of skill. Lower in health but higher in damage, the Scoundrel is difficult to master but fun to play. Finally, the last available class is the Ranged Huntress, a slower attacking class that fires a bow and arrow. Her standard attacks utilize a normal arrow shot and a charge shot that slows enemies upon contact. Her abilities are of high utility and resourcefulness, containing an AoE arrow that can be shot and aimed anywhere they desire and damages enemies in the vicinity alongside a dashing, powerful arrow attack that propels the Huntress backwards in addition to freezing the enemy upon contact. Her charge attack propels her high into the air while ridding any enemy that happens to be caught in the blast. Similar to the Scavenger, her shield is replaced with a dodge as well. Her stats run more mid-range damage, having slightly more health than the Scoundrel, but a little less damage potential. In terms of gameplay, Beerserkers plays similar to Chivalry in combat, except at a third-person perspective. Both teams attack their enemies, draining their health and respawning as necessary. Various game modes differ how the respawn and scoring system works. In the current iteration, two modes are available. The standard deathmatch, where each team is given 20 lives and the first to run out loses, while another uses a last man standing routine, where everyone has one life and it's the best of five rounds. What's rather astounding about Beerserkers is the level of quality gameplay already seen at the alpha level. It is rather obvious much of the focus went into creating a game that is not only fun and easy to learn, but competitive all the same, brandishing the coveted easy to learn, difficult to master mentality that makes for a great online game. Getting to know the different classes and levels doesn't take that long, but playing to a point where you can outplay any opponent takes quite a bit of time, patience, and skill. Equally important is the balance currently seen between classes. While some imbalance exists that may need a bit of tweaking down the line, on a grand scale, the game feels relatively fair at all points. Never once does it feel like one class overpowers the rest, nor are there abilities that are truly unfair. Everyone and every character has a different playstyle, and every style seems to have its own counter. Shieldbreak Studios definitely took their time putting the right gameplay mechanics together and even was smart enough to keep the story simple yet interesting. You play as a Viking that has gone to Viking Heaven, in which, as the announcer proudly states, you fight for the entertainment of Thor! That's right, no dynamic storylines, in-depth character development, or seemingly pointless storylines. <laughs> Bottom line, the game is fun, colorful, humorous, entertaining, and all this lies in the current alpha. Unless Shieldbreak Studios screws up something big time, Beer Circus is on its way to being one of the best releases we'll see in a long time, and a game that I expect will have thousands upon thousands of players for years to come. This has been the Red Gamer of Urban Gaming Elite. Check us out at urbangamingelite.com for new gaming content, news, and other items, as well as our other videos here on our channel. If you like this video and you want to see more, we highly recommend you hit that like button and of course go consider subscribing to our channel to show your support. With that, until next time, see you on the battlefield. From my perspective, unless Shieldbreak Studios screws something up big time, Beerserkers is easily on its way to being one of the best releases we're going to see in a very long time, and a game that I expect will have thousands upon thousands of players playing for years to come. You can check out more about the game or see play from ours from live streams over on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ugamingelite. You can find us, of course, on Twitter at ugamingelite or myself personally at the Red Gamer. Make sure to check out Shieldbreak Studios and other work they've done. Check out their live streams and hopefully get involved in some future pieces. With that, guys, I want to thank you for listening. Once again, I am the Red Gamer with Urban Gaming Elite. You can check out additional content of ours at urbangamingelite.com. And of course, if you enjoy this review, you enjoy our other content, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends, family, isolated individuals that don't have the internet, as we appreciate the support. Until next time, guys, I will see you on the battlefield.